Buzz went to the bank to cash our stimulus checks. Oh boy, I'm in the dole. I can't wait till he's back so I can go out and spend it. What should I spend it on? Wine? Whiskey? Women? Or maybe some zero bars? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, Dickel. I cashed the checks. Come on, Buzz. Split it up. I want what's coming to me. Hold your horses, Dickel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, eleven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, twelve hundred. Okay, now for my share. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand, eleven hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. 1200 Okay, Dickel, you got 1200 and I got 1200 too. What? That's not fair. It's equally divided. There's a total of 2400 bucks, right? Yes. So I've got 1200 How much have you got? I got 1200 too. 1200 too? See what I mean? No, no, no. It's split 50-50. No, it's not. I've got 1200 and you said you got 1200 too! Absolutely! Buzz, how's that fair? You owe me a buck! I owe you a buck? I gave you $1,200 and I gave myself 1200 too! You're a cheater, Buzz! How am I cheating? Tell me! Look, give me the money and I'll split it up, okay? Okay, if that'll make you happy. Okay, here's 100 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, twelve hundred, twelve hundred bucks. Now here's mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, eight, ninety-nine. Okay, here's your twelve hundred. Okay, I got 1200 How much do you have? Well, you got 1200 and I got 1200 too. You got 1200 too? Okay, then you owe me a buck. What? I do? But Buzz! Didn't you say I got 1200 and you got 1200 too? Yes, I did, but... but... <laughs> okay, Dickel, fork over the buck. Huh? Well, how to... Okay. Here's a buck. Thank you, Dicko. It was nice doing business with you. See you later. Why do I have the feeling that Buzz gave me the business? Hi, everybody. Good evening. Well, in the last episode, I was trying to figure out what this was and what this was. And I finally figured out that this was the uh, volume control and not this down here with the on-off switch, which is actually the on-off switch and the tone. But I must be blind. What's going on here, Buzz? Because there's decals on here that show you what it is. I can't see, I'm blind, Harry. Let's take a closer look. Now here's that lower left-hand switch that just clicked on and off, like you saw in the first video. Well, that's the AFC. Huh? Automatic frequency control. Wow! On, off. It just says clearly volume right on there. Why you didn't notice that before? Who knows? Although this doesn't say on, off, it does say tone. Why they put the tone with the on, off switch when most radios have the on-off switch with the volume, I don't know. But that's how this one works. Look what it says right above the band selector. That tells you how it works. Now when they're saying automatic, they mean the Selectron switches. So you gotta push it in. And you pull it out for manual. Manual is manual tuning. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Remember when I said 
the band selector was stuck in and I had to pull it out to get it working. Well, that probably happened because of years and years of just sitting around and it got stuck with no lubrication. And so when you push it in, that activates that one switch I was playing with on the previous episode where the light comes on for the Selectron switches. So there it is. That's the key. Here's a close-up of that uh, Selectron plate here where the light will uh, go on from the back and illuminate this when you hit the push buttons. So even now that thing is stuck. We got any lube? Here's that switch I was showing you earlier. There's one here and there's one on the other side. This thing is still stuck. Stuck? Put your hip into it. <laughs> See. You see this here? It's up. Push in for automatic. It hits the switch here. See that? Look at the fun we're having. That feels a lot better. Perfect. Good old WD-40, huh? Yeah, yeah. Skip the commercial, will you? Looks like it won't push in when it's all the way over here. It won't push in when it's in the middle portion. It's stuck again. What the hell's going on here? What happened to it? Does it matter which position this is on before it goes in and out? You've got to use your brain. I can't get it down anymore. Oh, this is weird. And take a look at this here. I believe this, when this is all the way over here, that's in the broadcast position. And it's, and it's stuck in there. But if I, Move it a little bit, it'll move up and down. Remember the first video where I couldn't get any reception, but if I put it in between, sort of like that, I was able to receive some stations. It looks like that's the position. That's the position it should be in when it's in the broadcast mode. Not all the way over like that where it's locked. And what's keeping it? How do you adjust it? So when it's in the detent, it can go up and down. Don't ask me, I don't know. Is it these things here? There's some set screws on here. There's like one here, there's one in the middle, and there's one on the bottom. And I don't know how to get to that screw. And to get a screwdriver in there, looks like it's impossible. If I rotate this, Aha! I can get to those set screws with a screwdriver. But will that have any effect if I do that? I don't know, George. Well, this one was loose. That one was kind of loose too. Let's try the top one. That one's a little bit tighter, but... I 
doesn't look like that's going to do anything because this this thing is flat here. When that's screwed all the way in, it just tightens it up here. Let's just tighten them and see what happens. Well, they're tightened, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Nope. I've got to move this over a little bit. Then it works. I need to remove this thing here. But this plate's in the way, so I'm going to have to remove this. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. I don't know what he's up to, but I'm going to find out. I'm sorry to have to say, I can't wait any longer now. The time limit is up. this that vice grip just messed up this here I received the uh, little knob for the band selector it's the reproduction one it's very expensive Let's put this on here. It's got a set screw in it. Think someone maybe took this off and rotated it somehow? Let me see how that works. You know something? My patience is running out. It's not easy doing this with the camera in the way. No, oh, quit complaining. Let's see if this rotates. Maybe they had it rotated like that. It's crazy. You don't even know where to start looking. Let's just see what happens. I put the screw on. Now you are really grasping at straws. Well, that's not definitely it. Doesn't work at all now. Oh, brother! I'm gonna put it back. There's a close-up of that bearing assembly. Oh! Looks like it's this is this piece is soldered to here. Does that look like solder? Yes. It's soft. <laughs> now watch when I turn it here. That look bent? Oh, dear me. Here's the other side of it. A little bit bent out of shape. Could that have broken off and it was... Somebody soldered that on there? Because I have no idea. Is that the way that's supposed to look? You would think that would be one piece, wouldn't you? If this was just, if this was broke off and soldered on there, perhaps they didn't line it up quite right. But I don't know. It looks bent to me. I was just wondering if I could just pull this whole thing out 
Maybe if I loosen these set screws here on the shaft, the whole thing will just come up. Okay, I was able to loosen up the set screw here, here, and here. And I think the shaft's gonna lift out. As you can see, that one fell off. That one's gonna fall down here too, probably. Watch right up here. Shaft's out. Now let's take a close look at this. Well, there it is. Beautiful, ain't it? There you can see the solder on there. There you can see the bent part. You think this broke off and somebody just soldered that on there? Yes, indeed. Sure looks like it to me. Me too. This thing's in beautiful condition for $10. I think I can demonstrate how this is not working right. Let's just start here. Let's just say this is uh, one of the short wave bands. Okay, say that's short wave two. Put it over here, short wave one. And let's send the detents. Broadcast band. See, it's in the detent here. But when you look at this... I hope I never see such a sight again. When it's in the broadcast band, I believe you should be able to push it in to get to the automatic switches. But this can't. This little thing here is not lined up right. See, that should be over here towards this opening here. It's not. So if you remember... I couldn't get any reception on the broadcast band until I tweaked it a little bit, remember? And I got some reception. And now look at it. See? It's lined up right. So if you wanted to go to automatic, push it in. Back to broadcast manual. But you look at here. See, it's not in the detent. That's because this, this is not lined up. Um, how frustrating is that? This is not turning the wafer switches to the correct position. I believe if it was bent some more, it might work. My only option is to try to bend it. If I can't bend it, I'm going to have to uh, re-solder this, then move it. And that's pretty touchy. I don't know if I want to try that. But if I have to, I will. But I think maybe I can bend this. I might be able to get it. So let me try that. Okay, before I bend it, I decided to see if I could rotate these wafer switches to the correct position without the shaft in there. So I get an idea how much I can bend this. And uh, I think I've got it. I've had some problems uh, with some reception. So I changed some of these caps here. And a lot of the ones in here, in the band selector. So let me show you what I've got here. Tweeted thousands of times before it was removed. I understand the pain. Okay, I figure if I can get the broadcast band aligned correctly, then the other ones should fall in line. Of course, that's a theory, I don't know. So let's stick this in here. Easy does it. You should be careful. More information brought to you by America's biopharmaceutical company. That's mat.org. 
with the wafer switches in the correct position, this thing is off here. There's two screws that go here and they bolt on to a plate that's underneath. And just by looking, these holes don't line up so this portion here, I've got to bend it this way. So I'm going to take this uh, shaft here, stick this in a vise, and just bend this a little bit. Hopefully that won't break off. Only love can break it. Let me go do that. Okay, I did bend it. I think it's going to work. Let's try it here. Here's on one of the short waves, say two, short wave one, broadcast. Looks like it's lined up. It's in the detent. Automatic. Nice! good it looks good let me stick this back in the radio and we'll power it up see if it works oh good luck pilgrim okay that looks pretty good Now I gotta line this plate up here and uh, screw these down here and we'll see if that, uh, that does the trick. Okay, I've got it powered up. Broadcast. Short wave. Short wave. Let's see if it goes in the correct position when I go on the broadcast here. The program at Total Financial Freedom can help you get free of credit card debt, internet, and signature loan. You pay only a fraction of what you owe and... And that's in the detent there. That looks good. Eight, you can qualify and receive a free book written by our CEO, the Debt Dietitian. A-plus rated. Total... I'm hoping the short waves are in the uh, right position. I think they should. Free copy of the book to help you at 800-899-8922. Oh, I forgot. That's 800. I forgot. Uh, in the broadcast position, we should be able to push this down. And it's not going down. Rats! Ah, uh, it's still not lined up right. Let me see if I can bend it some more. Hopefully we'll get it right. Well, I tweaked it one more time. So let's try it again. It's getting pretty old doing this. I think we know that. You bet I know what it means. It's got to go in between this plate here. Can't find the hole. Okay. Okay, let's get the uh, the screws in there. Some guys never learn their own weaknesses. As a horse never sees its face. Okay, here it goes. Second short wave. First short wave. Broadcast. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oops. Correction. Broadcast. First short wave. Second short wave. Whew. Looks like it's working. Okay, that's, that's uh, manual tuning. Automatic tuning. How about that? Now let's turn it on. See what we get. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, how very thrilling. Here we go, folks. We'll just go right up to about 100 volts. A little over a million plus uh, 1.2, and how does that happen? Okay, it's working. Now let's see if we, we can push it in and the lights should uh, go out. Now this, this has got to be grounded for it to work. Okay, we got the three lights up here, and when I push it in, this light should go on. I'm gonna do this. See, it? it's working. It's manual, automatic. You're a brilliant artist. Bueno. Man, I've been fighting this for two days. Okay. Now that we've got that done, i got to install these three little activation thingies. This goes one here, here, and here. And those activate the switch from uh, manual to automatic. But I have to take this off again, feed it individually, take it out, and Line it up till it goes into this little bump here on each of them. And after that's done, we can flip this over and test it properly. Okay, let's give it a go here. Oh boy! Let's just turn it on. Bring this up to about 110 volts. Yes! B plus. Anywhere throughout the Northwest. Did you know that we use factory parts repair? Always going virtual. Oregon hot tubs and aquafit are teaming up to get virtual presentations. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see if the uh, automatic works. I push that in, these three will go out, this one will come on. <laughs> Some of them not sticking very well, but good show, jolly good show, Major. 
I don't know how that works. Sponsored by Discover. We treat you like you treat you. Okay, push out for a uh, manual. Brilliant. Perfect. Okay, what a relief. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. It's a complete nightmare. If this is if this was actually something real, real serious, I would have junked the thing. I'm not gonna mess with those wafer switches. It's a nightmare. I don't know how it works. You dumb cluck. It takes a genius to figure out what contact will go to which thing. To even trace it out on the schematic is hard. So luckily, I didn't have to take it apart completely. Or well, this would have been, or well, this video would have lasted till Christmas. Anyway, I'm happy with this. Okay, we know the broadcast band works. Now what about the short wave? Well, so what about it? Uh, that sounds like a couple of the uh, tuning capacitor fins are shorting out or something. I ordered a new belt, so we're going to be getting that pretty soon. Okay, just to make sure that this... I can't really pick up any shortwave around here. I don't have a decent antenna. But I want to make sure it works. So we'll go up towards the uh, top of the dial here. And we'll hook up my signal generator. We'll just hook it up right to the antenna. Okay, with the first shortwave band going from like uh, 1.8 to 6 megacycles, let's put the signal generator around 6 megacycles and see if we can pick up the tone. Hey. Okay, it's picking that up. So let's go to the. Uh, okay, let's go to the to the other shortwave band. Which is that one? This band goes from like six to eighteen megacycles. We'll put the signal generator close to eighteen megacycles. Cool. Does this count as annoying? Okay. That's telling me it's picking it up at that frequency. So I think the shortwave bands are okay. Oh boy, old Buzz could use a long, long nap. Well, thank God that's over. It's over. It's finished. Go! You're done! 
finished. That's it. Goodbye. Well, that should do it for this video. I can't say it was fun, because it wasn't. But we needed to get it to work, and we did. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too boring for you. Not much happening. But it's all part of the uh, process, right? So till next time, this is Buzz1151. Wishing everybody a good night. See you next time. Goodbye. Don't monkey with electricity unless you know what you're doing. All right, we got that done. I got to put in these three little activation things. They go on the shaft and they up, move up and down. When you go to manual, goes up, automatic, goes down. So one of them goes here, here, and here. So I'm going to have to take the shaft off again and feed each one individually. Whoa! Electricity is like a caged animal. It wants to get out. It's only 285 volts. <laughs> What's that doing on? <sighs> Let that be less than the rest of you, nuts!